Hopefully this will be my last video I post today. So um, I've been thinking, Vice President, who would I pick? Al Gore would be a great one, right? Because he's been in the White House. He, I mean, he must like know everyone in Washington, D.C. I know he's busy with like climate initiatives, but what am I doing? Radical, radical, radical uh, changes to um, the, the oil consumption specifically. But am I, am I down to be for clean coal, which is not clean? Yeah, I am. Um, um, am I going to hurt the automobile industry? Obviously, we're going to do a lot of automobile manufacturing. It's just we're not going to manufacture the type of stuff that you guys are manufacturing because I'm going to ban a lot of uh, types of vehicles. Um, so, um, yeah, Al Gore. I would love to pick him. Um, he'd be awesome. Uh, no matter what, I need someone who's like has experience specifically in Washington, D.C. with legislation and stuff like that as my vice president because I'm not, I'm not lying and saying I'm, I'm, I'm experienced. I'm not experienced and I need, um, I'm going to have to do some tricky legal stuff. And I mean, I, I know that that's, you're like, you're bringing the swamp in if you, if you pick Al Gore, no matter what I have to bring the swamp in because I need people that know about, um, legal stuff, but I'm also going to bring not the swamp in. Like I'm going to bring in Baylor lawyers, which is like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm running as a Democrat, but then I want to bring in conservative lawyers. I want to bring in, uh, smart lawyers. That's pretty much what I want. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to pick. Congratulations, Al Gore. <laughs> I should be your vice president. Everyone thinks I should be like Elizabeth, War Elizabeth Warren's vice president. Yeah, but she's not um, scary enough. That's that's the thing. Um, we're at a point in history where we need someone scary. And it's, it's really hard to explain. Like, I know a lot of people are like, you're too heavy-handed, which I am. I'm way too heavy-handed. I know, I realize that, but... Um, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that we're at a point in history where we need someone that's going to be heavy handed. Uh, we need someone that's ready to kick some ass. We need someone that's not, that doesn't get scared and I don't get scared. Um, so yeah, congratulations, Al Gore. You're nominated to be one of my vice, pre be my vice president. So is Elizabeth Warren. She's nominated too. I don't, I, I, I need to get in. I need to go start having some conversations with some of these people in the secret service to figure out, um, the true nature of what happened, what's happened with Donald Trump. And then I'll figure out um, who, who I'm going to pick as my vice president. Can we pick Barack Obama as my vice president? Not going to happen. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Sorry, Barack. Um, it's not because you're black. It's because uh, we have a very, very dark history. Can I pick Joe Biden as my vice president? Never going to happen. Like, I need someone sharp. Like, I need someone that's on their game. Could Bernie Sanders be a vice president? Yeah. Um, who, like, I mean... I don't know who else. Uh, could, uh, what's his name? John Edwards be my vice president? <laughs> could Alan Dershowitz be my vice president? I, I need a younger lawyer. I, I prefer a lawyer in his 50s or 60s. Um, um, Alan Dershowitz is a little, little too old. Not that I'm ageist. Elizabeth Warren's pretty old too. But she's she's still spry and nimble in her brain. She still seems like she's, she's functioning pretty well. Um, so is Alan Dershowitz, but... She's younger than Alan Dershowitz. I, I, I messed up what I was saying. Congratulations, Al Gore. You're nominated for my vice president. 